Hi, welcome, and today we're going to show you how to set up a database for Diorama on SQL Server. All that is required that if you um, that you installed SQL Server 2005 um, Express, if this is another version of SQL Server, as long as it's 2005 or higher, this will be fine. Um, if you went along using the default settings, you should already have had Windows authentication and you should be able to connect without needing any password. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually restore a database. So by clicking on databases and then right clicking, you'll come up with an option that says restore database. Select that. And then we need to call the database something. So in this case, we want to call it diorama and we want to restore it from a device. In our case, the C drive. Um, the image of the backup for Diorama is located on the disk that this talk is located on. But for, for this to work, you actually need to move that file. And that needs to be moved to C, Program Files, Microsoft SQL Server, MSSQL.1, MSSQL, and then backup. For some reason, the program does not see any backup files unless it is in this directory. Um, and for those who are wondering where this is coming from, um, this is just the default location where um, Microsoft SQL Server um, installs itself. So if you installed it elsewhere, it's going to be elsewhere, but after Microsoft SQL Server, all of these files will be the same. So under backup, you can see 100.back, but that's actually not the backup file that we want. So if you click under files of types down here and click on all files, it will bring up some more. Um, and BDMIC backup is the file that's most recent. There might be a different one on the CD, but we just want that most recent file to back up or to restore. So click OK and then OK again and you'll see that it comes up on the screen. Um, there might be a couple files you just want to ensure that the right one was selected. One way is to check the date. The most recent one is the most important. Here you can see that this is the most re most recent and therefore we want to select to restore that point. Um, the reason why there's multiple restore points is you can actually save or back up the file of the database multiple times on one file. Therefore you can select from that the different dates. So now that we have selected the correct date we can click OK and it will begin to loading our database onto the SQL Server. You've now successfully loaded Diorama onto the server. There is still some setup that needs to be done. Um, there needs to be some setup with the user profile and have some password logins. Um, and we will talk about that in the next video. Thank you.